Hi, welcome to How To Repair. As you all know, I've been fixing tumble dryers for you now for the last 20 years on YouTube and bringing you tutorials on repair guides, uh, diagnostic videos and fault finding videos. But you've all been asking me with these new energy prices that are coming out to the marketplace today, what is the best tumble dryer to buy and which is the best tumble dryer to buy? So I've gone out and used my own money and bought a selection of tumble dryers which are some of the leading sellers on the marketplace today and we'll be looking at how well these machines are constructed and doing teardown videos on all these appliances to look at how repairable they are and how economic they are to repair in other words the cost of the components in the future because it's all right buying an appliance, but if it's not repairable in the future, then it's only going to go in the bin after three to five years when a fault arises. Uh, some machines are cheaper to repair than other machines. Some machines are better produced. In other words, the components that are in the machine are better quality. I'll be buying these from Curry's, Argos, AO, John Lewis and independent retailers around the country. And these reviews that I do on the machine are totally independent. Now, as you all know, appliances come with energy certification labels. But what you don't realize is that the Right to Repair Act now is being introduced all over Europe. This means appliances have to be graded on a 1 to 10 basis on how repairable they are in the future and how affordable they are to repair. I'll be looking at the three major types of tumble dryer. Vented tumble dryers, condenser tumble dryers, and heat pump tumble dryers. I'll be explaining the beneficial savings that you can have on each of these tumble dryers. Heat pump tumble dryers use a lot less energy than vented or condenser tumble dryers, but you have to save a lot of money in electricity to warrant the additional cost of the appliance towards the lifespan of the appliance. We'll be looking at Superstore's own brands, which are sometimes manufactured by the leading manufacturers, but are at a substantial saving in money because they buy in such bulk. And sometimes you'll buy an appliance from a Superstore, which is their own brand, but may be made by one of the leading manufacturers. Then I'll be discussing individual manufacturers. Because what you don't realize as consumers is that a certain manufacturer has umpteen brands or label under its belt. Now, Whirlpool own Indeset, Hotpoint, Ariston, Creda, just to mention a few. Hoover own Candy. AEG, Electrolux and Zanussi are another manufacturer. Bosch, Neff and Siemens are another manufacturer. And what you don't realize, the components in this Indeset or Candy tumble dryer are exactly the same components as their higher end brand, Hotpoint or the Hoover. This happens across the board and sometimes these appliances can be 70, 80 pound difference in price just for the label. It's exactly the same as the clothes industry. Sometimes you can buy a beautiful quality shirt at £10, but because it's got a Lacoste or a certain label on it, you may spend £20 more on the same shirt. So we'll be looking at where to save the money and the cost of running these machines and the benefits of certain programs on the machine. Because in this modern age, especially with high prices in electricity nowadays, there is beneficial savings to be had if you can actually get the tumble dryer to start automatically at certain times of day. You might be utilizing solar power or you might be using lower tariffs on electricity at night and it would be a good idea for the tumble dryer to start at midnight and run for its two hour cycle then because you're only paying 10, 15 pence per kilowatt of energy, where in the daytime you may be spending 28 pence of energy. So there's a lot of savings to be had to save you money. And I hope this video series assists you in purchasing your new tumble dryer. If you would like to be informed of any new video that I upload in this series, please make sure you hit the subscribe button below and the bell notification icon. This will inform you when I upload a new video. 
Also, if you have a problem with an appliance that you've purchased, a delivery problem from a superstore, or any other problem at all, please make sure you leave a comment in the description below to assist other people purchasing appliances in the future. And if you would really like to support the website, you can always click on the Buy Paul a Beer page. And remember, you can always buy the parts that you need for your appliance in the future from How to Repair. Thanks very much indeed for watching.